Hello friends, welcome back to Landnet Guide Tutorials. In this video, I am going to show you how to configure SSH passwordless login authentication for users on Linux servers. SSH is a default protocol used to connect Linux servers remotely with valid user's credentials by default. Enabling SSH passwordless authentication helps us to perform some automated tasks using scripts or to avoid entering username and passwords for every time. So let's see how to enable passwordless login authentications. So watch the video till the end. We have lot more videos are available related to DevOps, Cloud and Linux. Check out those videos. Without making any further delay, let's get started. So this is my actual source server from which I will connect to my client that is client server. Normally this would ask you to provide the password when you connect to client server from master server. To avoid this password prompt, we can enable SSH passwordless login authentication between source and target servers. In both server, I am going to use root is the user. You can use any other users if you want. So this is my master server, which means the source server from which I am going to connect the, my all the clients. Already I have logged in with user root. We must generate a SSH key pass. So authentication happens by using these key pass instead of asking password. So SSH keygen is a tool available default in Linux used to create a SSH authentication key pass. SSH keygen command can create RSA keys, DSA keys, ECDSA keys and other keys. These are different key encryption mechanisms so we don't need to worry about that. By default SSH keygen will generate an RSA key pass with one public and private key. If you want to generate any other type of keys something like DSA or other then it must be specified with hyphen T option along with SSH keygen command something like this. If you are not specifying anything with this command so it will generate RSA key. So I just go with the default one. Let me hit enter. It is generating the public and private RSA key pair. So you enter the file location in which you want to save the key. By default if you are not specifying any other directory it will get generated under slash root which means the home directory of your user within the directory dot sh in the name of id underscore rsa this is my private key i just go with the default one so i just hit enter so it is saying that it is already exist you want me to overwrite or not yes now enter pass phrase so just hit enter if you provide any password over here during the ssh connections it will ask you to enter this pass phrase so we don't want that just hit enter again hit enter one more time so the identification has been saved under this directory. The file name is id underscore rsa and the public key has been saved as id rsa dot pub. So this is my public key and this is my private key. So ssh keygen command generated the both private and public key pairs under the home directory of user root. So id rsa is my private key and this is my public key. Once you have this private and public key, we must add the public key to the target server under their user home directory. It can be done in two ways. Either you cat this file and copy the content and log in to target server and add this data manually in a file called authorized underscore keys. Else use ssh copy id command to add remotely with hyphen i option by specifying the public key to be copied. So this will take care to deploy the ssh public key. So we recommend to use this command instead of copying manually to avoid any human errors. And finally, the target username and the target server name. The first time it will ask you to enter the password because still the keys are not deployed. So one time you must enter the password of the user root. When you have given the correct password, it will give you the message that try login to the machine with sh root at client server to make sure that only the keys you wanted were added or not. So public key is added to the target server. Now from the master server, let me log in to client server. Earlier it was asking me to enter the password, right? So this time it won't ask the password. The authentication will happen through SSH keys. Perfect. So it's got logged in without giving the password. So authentication happened successfully. 
So passwordless login authentication is enabled as expected. Similarly, you can configure SSH passwordless authentication between SO server to any number of target servers. Hope you have got an idea how to enable SSH passwordless authentication on Linux servers. So keep practicing and have fun. See you in the next video. How did you feel? Is it helpful? Appreciate our efforts in the comment section below. Hit like button, share with your friends about us, subscribe our channel to get further updates, stay connected with us on social networking sites. For more free tutorials, visit our website www.lanetiguide.net.